Revelation 18. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And it Lucifer was cast out of heaven like a bolt of lightning to earth. So too is the Antichrist. He cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, in the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city babylon that mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buyeth their merchandise any more the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all fine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, for in one hour so great riches is come to naught. And every shipmaster, and all the company and ships and sailors, and as many as trade by sea, stood afar off, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee, for thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived, and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth.
cremation care. The filthy, defiled bird that they dr that the kings of the world drink wine at as ritual of blood sacrifice and to blood sacrifice. I'll leave a link to this. Um, you can pause it and read more of it if you'd like to. Um, I'm going to get down here to what they say as they're doing these rituals. And it's going to be very eerie. Thou, thou has in his leafy temple, let it within the grove be reverent before him. Lift up your heads, O ye trees, and be lifted up everlasting spears. For the, behold, Bohemian Shrine, and holy are the pillars of this house. Weaving spires not come here. Hail Bohemians with the ripple of waters. The song of birds, which music inspires, thinking soul. <clears throat> Do we invite you to this midsummer joy? The sky above is blue and sown with stars. The forest floor is heaping with fa fragrant grit. The evening's cool kiss is yours, the campfire's glow, the birth of rosy-fingered dawn. For behold, here is Bohemian Shrine. And holy are the pillars of this house. Shake off your sorrows with this city's dust, and cast the winds of cares of life. But memories bringing back well love the names, gallant friends who knew and loved this grove. Dear boom, companions of long ago, Yea, let them join us in this ritual, and let not a piece be emptied by our mist. These are the battles to hold, and in this gray autumn of the world. Oh, this day just gets sick. It's hard for me to read this garbage. I mean, these people are sick. You guys can read. I'm going to get to the, the, the important part here. For they even know that the Lord will bring fire. Oh. Say thou mocking spirit. Ye shall burn me once again, not with these flames, which hither ye have brought from regions where I reign. Ye fools and priests, I spit upon your fire, they say, to God. O owl, prince of all moral, mortal wisdom, owl of Bohemia, we beseech thee. Grant us thy counsel, no fire, no fire, no fire. These guys are going to hell, and unfortunately, I, they've taken us with us. America is New Babylon. Um, we like to admit it or not, you know, Christians will debate it. But there's no debate in facts here. Now, these kids, some of these kids that this cover up is from my hometown. Omaha, Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska, some of them, Boys Town, Nick was involved, little bushy, little bushy boy, Papa Bush, John DeCamp was a state senator of mine, uh, Nebraska, and uh, he, he's, he's uh, went after him, but I mean, you can pause the stuff and go through it at any time. This is a little insight of what they've done to these kids. They they took them out there and raped them and pillaged them. Um, they're just sick, disgusting people. I'll leave links, you know. Um, look at this stuff. Anybody else uh, not hear this? I mean, I I. I have a little insight on it because I'm from here, but this is my favorite. Oh, drag queen. And we make fun of Obama's gay ass. You know what I mean? I mean, they're all sick. 
they're all in this stuff together. They're, they're two dirty wings of the same filthy bird. More top Republicans are found to be homos. I mean, the hypocrisy of it all. They they, they parade and, and pan, pander to our Christian vote, and they do this garbage. We're we're in the last last days. This is it. I'm trying to do all I can to awaken. This isn't you know necessarily for the people that are awake. It's just to give you another perspective. If you're seeing things a certain way, and you think. New Babylon's in Iraq or something. You're, you'd be uh, horribly wrong. But, uh, this is uh, James Casale with JC Ministries. It's my first Saturday um, Bible study. Uh, Saturday is the Sabbath. The Pope will be announcing in America, uh, more than likely when he goes to Philadelphia. Um, the brotherly love uh, that they're going to team with unions to uh, make working on Sundays illegal. Um, rapid pace towards the end here. Mark my words, uh, and I'm going to do some more videos on that. This is, this is the final hour. Godspeed.